Hello everyone. Last session we have discussed standard formulas and uh, rules of integration. We now use them for solving few problems. Let me consider first problem. So here this integrand contains six terms. We can first apply some rule of integration and we can split this as integration of x power 5 with respect to x whereas in the second term we have constant into function whenever constant into function is given we will keep constant outside the integral and we will integrate function alone. So, I will write the same as 7 times integration of x power 4 plus whereas in the third term 3 is constant we will keep constant outside and integrate 1 by x square with respect to x. Again in the fourth term 3 by 2 is constant and it is integration of 1 by x with respect to x. In the next term 7 is constant and we will integrate 1 by root x with respect to x and last term is 8. 8 can be written as 8 into x power 0. We will integrate this with respect to x. Now we know from the standard integrals integration of x power n with respect to x is x power n plus 1 by n plus 1. Here n is not equal to minus 1. So, if I apply this formula for the first term of the integrand, in place of n, we have phi. So, integration of x power 5 is x to the power of 5 plus 1 by 5 plus 1, which can be written as x power 6 by 6 plus 7 times. Again, integration of x power 4, in place of n, we have 4. So, integration is x to the power of 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1, which can be written as x to the power of 5 by 5 plus 3 times. See here integration of 1 by x square first I will write 1 by x square as x to the power of minus 2. If I apply the same formula here and integrate I will get x to the power of minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1. So, which can be written as minus 1 by x plus 3 by 2 times Again from the standard integrals we have integration of 1 by x as log x. So, I will write directly plus next term we have 7 into integration of 1 by root x. See here 1 by root x can be written as x to the power of minus half and its integration is x to the power of minus half plus 1 by minus of plus 1. So, on simplifying we will get 7 times 2 root x plus 8 into integration of x power 0 is x power 0 plus 1 by 0 plus 1 which is same as x followed by the constant c. So, on simplifying this we will get x power 6 by 6 plus 7 by 5 times x power 5 minus 3 by x plus 3 by 2 log x base e plus 14 times root x plus 8x followed by the constant c. One more problem. Here, first let us simplify this problem. This can be written from the sum rule of integration, integral of 7 power x with respect to x plus integral of e power x with respect to x plus here 3 power x by 7 power x can be written as 3 by 7 whole power x plus integral of x power e with respect to x. We know that e power e and 3 square both are constants. I will combine both and write e power e plus 3 square and I will integrate this with respect to x. We know that integration of a power x with respect to x is a power x by log a base e. So, in place of a we have 7. So, therefore, integration of 7 power x is 7 power x by log 
7 base e plus we know that integration of e power x is e power x itself. So, we will write e power x plus again third term 3 by 7 whole power x it is same like integration of a power x. So, in place of a we have 3 by 7. So, therefore integration of 3 by 7 whole power x is 3 by 7 whole power x by log 3 by 7 base e plus integration of x power e. So, we know that e is constant and also we know that integration of x power n with respect to x is x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1. So, in place of n we have e here. So, we can write integration of x power e has x to the power of e plus 1 by e plus 1 plus this e power e plus 3 square is constant and we will assume it uh, x power 0 is multiplied with the constant and we know that integration of x power 0 is x power 0 plus 1 by 0 plus 1. Hence, integration of this term can be written as e power e plus 3 square into x which is followed by the constant c. Not in the standard form. None of these standard integrals applied here directly. So, what we can do is we try to simplify this using a plus b whole square expansion and then we try to integrate. So, we know that root x plus 1 by root x the whole square can be written as root x the whole square plus 1 by root x the whole square plus 2 times root x into 1 by root x. So, we will integrate this with respect to x. We know that root x the whole square is x plus 1 by root x the whole square can be written as 1 by x and here root x gets cancelled from the numerator and denominator and we will get 2. So, let us integrate this with respect to x. See root x plus 1 by root x it was little complicated problem. After expanding this, we reduced this so that a standard formula of integration can be applied. Now, we know that integration of x power n is x power n plus 1 by n plus 1. So, integration of x is x power 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 which can be written as x square by 2 and integration of 1 by x which is standard formula log x and integration of constant is constant into x. So, 2x followed by the constant of integration c. If we look at this problem, integration, direct integration is not possible. We try to simplify this. In the denominator, we have x square plus 1. We, is it possible to express numerator in terms of x square plus 1? So, for that what we do here is we add and subtract 1 to the numerator. So, we will get we can split this integrand as integration of x power 4 minus 1 by x square plus 1 plus integration of 1 by x square plus 1 and we will integrate this with respect to x. If we look at the first term of the integration, we can write x power 4 minus 1 as x square the whole square minus 1 square the whole square. We know that a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b. So, this becomes x square plus 1 into x square minus 1. So, that the given integrand reduces to x square plus 1 into x square minus 1 whole divided by x square plus 1. And we know that integration of 1 by x square plus 1 is tan inverse x. 
So here in the first term of the integration x square plus 1 gets cancelled from the numerator and denominator and we left with integration of x square minus 1 and this tan inverse x we already integrated we will write as it is. Now we can integrate x square integration of x square we know that integration of x power n is x power n plus 1 by n plus 1. So using the same I will get x power 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 it is same as x cube by 3 minus integration of 1 is x and this tan inverse x we just write as it is followed by the constant c plus 1 even we cannot integrate that directly. So what is the next option? We have x square plus 1 in the denominator. Is it possible to express numerator in terms of x square plus 1? If we can do that, we can cancel x square plus 1 with the numerator so that it can be reduced to a simplified way. Now, if you look at the first and the third term, we can take x common so that I can write x into x power 6 plus 1. Whereas in the second and the last term, 3 can be taken common. We will get 3 times x power 6 plus 1 and we will write denominator as it is. So, given integrand can be written in the form x plus 3 into x power 6 plus 1 by x square plus 1. Now, we try to express x power 6 plus 1 in terms of x square plus 1. For that, let us con we can write x power 6 plus 1 as x square the whole cube plus 1 square the whole cube. It is same as a cube plus b cube. We know that a cube plus b cube is a plus b into a square minus ab plus b square. So, that means it becomes x square plus 1 into a square means x square the whole square which is uh, x power 4 minus ab that is x square into 1 which is same as x square plus b square is 1 square which is same as 1 square the whole square is 1 itself. So given problem can be rewritten in the form x plus 3 into x square plus 1 into x power 4 minus x square plus 1 whole divided by x square plus 1. Here x square plus 1 gets cancelled from the numerator and denominator and we can simplify the remaining term as you just multiply x plus 3 with x power 4 minus x square plus 1 we will get x power 5 minus x cube plus x plus 3x power 4 minus 3x square plus 3. Now we will use integration of x power n with respect to x. We know that integration of x power n is x power n plus 1 by n plus 1. So here in place of n we have 5. So its integration is x power 5 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 which is same as x power 6 by 6 minus integration of x cube is x power 4 by 4 plus integration of x is x square by 2 plus 3 is constant into integration of x power 4 is x power 5 by 5 again minus 3 is constant and integration of x square is x cube by 3 and we know that 3 can be written as 3 into x power 0 and its integration is 3x followed by the constant of integration c. We now integrate x power 4 plus x square plus 1 by x square minus x plus 1. So here is it possible to express numerator in terms of x square minus x plus 1. If it is possible what we should add and subtract for the numerator. Here we have x power 4 which can be written as x square the whole square. 
and even we have one one can be written as one square the whole square so what else is needed to make it a perfect square so for that we have x square alone i cannot write the same as x square plus 1 the whole square for that i need 2x square in the numerator so what i do here is i add and subtract x square to the numerator so that x square plus 1 more x square becomes 2x square and subtract x square we we'll write denominator as it is so now problem become very simple i can write first three terms as x square plus 1 the whole square and write the last term as it is x square and denominator is x square minus x square minus x square minus x plus 1 so here numerator is of the form a square minus b square we know that a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b so we can rewrite the given problem as x square plus 1 plus x because in place of a you have x square plus 1 in place of b we have x so a plus b means x square plus 1 plus x into a minus b is x square plus 1 minus x whole divided by x square minus x plus 1 so that x square minus x plus 1 gets cancelled from the numerator and denominator we remained with x square plus 1 plus x now we can apply standard formula of integration integration of x bar n here we know that integration of x square is x cube by 3 plus integration of constant is x plus integration of x is x square by 2 and we'll write plus c as the constant of integration
have integrated uh, algebraic functions we now consider exponential functions before that let us recall few formulas we know that a to the power of n log x base a can be written as a to the power of in the power we have n log x we can write the same as log x to the power of n because we know that n log m is log m power n and this can be written as x power n since a to the power of log x base a is x so same way in place of a if we have he e to the power of n log x base e we can write the same as e to the power of log x power n base e just same as x power n from the same result e to the power of log x base e is x so we oftenly use these two formulas while solving uh, exponential functions let me consider a simple problem integration of a to the power of phi log x base a with respect to x so using the previous property we can write the same as a to the power of log x power phi base a which is same as x to the power of phi and we know that integration of x power phi is x power 6 by 6 followed by the constant c we now simplify the given problem using the properties of exponential functions then we will integrate here we know that a to the power of 6 log x base a can be written as a to the power of log x power 6 base a minus a to the power of this phi log x can be written as log x to the power of phi base a whole divided by e to the power of again this is like n log m we can write it as log x to the power of 4 base e minus e to the power of log x cube base e now here i can write a to the power of log x base a as x same way e to the power of log x base a as x using both the properties the first term becomes x power 6 second term is x power 5 in the denominator it reduces to x power 4 minus x cube we will integrate this with respect to x before we integrate let me take x power 5 common from the numerator so that we get x minus 1 whereas in the denominator if we take x cube common we will get x minus 1 so that x minus 1 gets cancelled from the numerator and denominator and 1 x cube gets cancelled we left with x square and we will integrate x square now integration of x square is x cube by 3 followed by the constant c so let us consider one more exponential function 2 power x plus 3 power x by 5 power x we cannot integrate here 2 power x separately 3 power x separately so instead of that we should simplify this before we go for integration so now we will split numerator as 2 power x by 5 power x plus 3 power x by 5 power x again we can write 2 power x by 5 power x we know that a power m by p power m can be written as a by b whole power m so here this becomes 2 by 5 whole power x plus 3 by 5 whole power x will integrate this with respect to x we know that integration of a power x is a power x by log a base e so therefore integration of 2 by 5 whole power x is 
if we look at the formula in place of a we have 2 by 5 so that integration of 2 by 5 whole power x becomes 2 by 5 whole power x by log of 2 by 5 base e plus again integration of 3 by 5 whole power x is 3 by 5 whole power x by log 3 by 5 base e followed by the constant c.